Hi guys and welcome to Python function to get a valid input from user. This is a beginner's tutorial. So let's start by first of all. What I want to do is I'm going to define a function and this function I'm going to call it get underscore integer underscore input. And I'm going to enter parentheses. In this parentheses, I will call the argument in the prompt. And end that with column. I will then use a while loop. Y is true. Then I will then use a try statement. A try catch function to see if the user input is valid or not. So user input and that would be equals an integer. And I'll just use uh, an input. And uh, what are we collecting? That's going to be the prompt. Dump that in there. There we go. Then we add the system to actually return user input. There we go, paste that in here. Okay, that is my function if whatever you enter is true. Now, supposing if it's not true, or well, then we can just say accept. We can say valid error. And the error will be print. You can just say, please enter a valid integer. There we go. All right. So that is my function that we. That way I will use to check if you have entered numerical value or we've entered an invalid value. Okay, so look at my second argument. The second argument is saying give a valid integer input. So in there, I'm going to declare two variables. I'll call it number one, that will be equals this function here so equals function one and that is going to display as follows enter first number there we go close that up then i'm going to declare another one that will be number two variable number two enter second number There we go. Now, let's take care of our calculations and so on. And right, right here, I'm going to create another variable. This variable is going to be known as addition underscore result. Addition underscore result. That will be equals num1 plus num2. That's it. And we also need to print that out. Let's say print. And what are we printing out? We are actually printing out addition, comma, and that is going to be this very result here. Paste that in here. There we go. Okay. You see here we have enter first number. Let's put a column and let the first number be be on the second line. And the same thing applies to this as well. There we go. So backspace n means carriage return. Let's try this out. But before we try it out, we have to save it. Go to file, save as, 
And I will call that a uh, lesson integer yt only. Let's say lesson yt integer underscore only. Okay, that would do. There we go. And save that. So, okay, let's try that out. I'm going to click on run. There we go. Enter whatever value in there. You see that? There is not accepting that. But if when we enter a number, there we go. Look at that. That is fine. Let's repeat the same thing for the subtraction. I'm going to grab all of these, paste it right in here. I will just change that to subtraction. So come right here, turn S, subtraction, and here the same thing. Subtraction, paste, and here. There. Uh, let's do one thing. See here, I'm just going to say, ask you to get it tabbed. That's how you write tab. Okay. We've taken care of subtraction as well, but we need to change the operator, the arithmetic operator to subtraction. All right, let's run that and see. Run. Enter a valid number. Okay. There we go. Addition and subtraction. There, that's fine. So let's repeat the same thing for the multiplication, grab all of that, dump that in there. And in the case of multiplication, I'm just going to change this to multiplication. Let's enter an M there. And operator becomes multiply. And here as so well. And multiply. And right here. Paste. Okay then. So let's try out multiplication run let's do that again no close that run there we go entire value there so addition subtraction multiplication is working so what about division come in here paste that for division And I might as well paste it for modulus, exponential, and floor division. Now, let's go to division. Take care of the division right away. Copy and enter a D here, paste. Here, the same thing. D, paste, division. And here, change that to D, paste. Okay, division is taken care of. Now let's come to modulus. So with the case in the case of modulus, that is going to be the percentage sign. We enter that in there and change this to modulus. There. Put the same thing here. modulus and here we have modulus as well paste there and now let's take care of the exponential so i'm going to grab all of all of these come in here there's an entire exponential in there and here as well and change this to exponential there we go and in the case of exponential that is going to be multiply multiply and finally we have floor division the floor division is going to be there four slash four slash and here we just change this to let's change this to floor division Paste that here. There we go. Floor division result. There. Now 
paste this right in here. And here we can just say for vision integer x equals whatever. Paste that here. There we go. That is it all done. Okay, let's run that and see. There and there. Brilliant. That's very good. But but there is going to be a problem. The problem is if I let's say I enter first number here and the second number happen to be zero. We end up with an error because we cannot divide by zero or even the modulus and the exponential as well. Oh, the exponential is okay, but the floor division we cannot do that. So, what I'm going to do is you see where we have the vision. So, I'm going to now use an if statement here. So, let's say if second number is not equals zero there if it's not equal zero then we expect the system to carry out as follows let's get it indented else that means we have an error so we need to do something about that okay in that case grab all of these paste that in here and let's just say division by zero is not allowed something like that division by zero is not allowed there we go so that should take care of that. What about the others? So let's come in here and use a new statement as well. Grab hold of that, paste that in here. Modulus. In the case of modulus, let's grab hold of these as well. Paste that here and get this indented okay so in the case of modulus let's just change that to modulus by zero is not allowed okay that is taken care of and finally let's take care of floor division Paste that in here and come right down here. We want to use else if as well. Else statement, paste that in there and get this indented. Only if it's not zero, do as follows. Else we can say floor division by zero is not is not allowed. Okay, I think I am done with this. So let's see. I'm going to save that. There. Enter the first number and second number happens to be zero. There we go. Look at that. Division by zero is not allowed. Modulus by zero is not allowed. Floor division by zero is not allowed. See that, guys? So like I said, this is a beginner's tutorial. So have a good look at that. Declare a function here that you will call inside your variables and then put together the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus here, exponential. Okay, and floor division. So, let's run it again. 
click on run divide by zero there okay so subtraction addition subtraction multiplication exponentiation those ones are working why the rest is no division by zero and no modulus by zero or floor division by zero is not allowed so with that guys i am going to call it the end of this brilliant tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel okay guys so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial thanks for watching and bye for now